Howdy, it's the Thursday afternoon edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. What a day it is out there today. It even feels to me a little bit hot, but I'm not going to complain. After the winter, we had 82 degrees and mostly sunny. No complaints here, but I was sweating a little bit walking into the uh, into the building this afternoon. Well, today's unfolding as promised here in Northeast Ohio, Western Pennsylvania, starting out with a large scale view of things here. The map is pretty busy today. I'm going to take off the satellite to make this a little less busy. We have a low pressure system today out towards Omaha, Nebraska, and a warm front, which is kind of like right through like this. And anywhere south of that front, yeah, it feels like summer. It's even a little bit humid out there today. I'll show you the dew points in just a second. Cold front back here in the plains down like this. And yes, that's snow out here in western Nebraska, western South Dakota. And we're going to be keeping an eye on this zone right through here for the possibility of severe weather this afternoon and this evening. Uh, near this warm front, uh, there could be some tornadic activity before the day is through. Uh, we had a few reports of tornadoes yesterday. A weekend meteorologist Mike Joyce out there storm chasing this week, and uh, he saw a couple of weak tornadoes on the uh, Oklahoma-Texas border or near it. Uh, uh, yesterday, but their group is safe, thankfully, and uh, we hope that they're uh, they're learning a lot more about these storms. The you know, the primary uh, reason for storm chasing should be for the science to learn more about the storms so that the warning process can get better. Yes, there are some some thrill seekers out there who just want to take cool pictures and get them online and uh, become somewhat famous, but that's not the reason why storm chasing should be. Uh, this shouldn't be the primary reason for storm chasing is what I'm getting at. Anyway, enough of the uh, soapbox. <laughs> uh, Mid-afternoon temperatures, it's uh, 2.30 as I record this this afternoon. It's 82 in Youngstown. We got 85 down there in Columbus. 80s all throughout Ohio. There's not a single reporting station with the exception perhaps yeah, the Lakeshore, Burke Lakefront Airport there in Cleveland at 71. But the rest of the states just basking in the warmth today. Western Pennsylvania is in the same boat. All right, so the big question for us, let me uh, throw up the dew points real quickly here just to show you that dew points uh, this afternoon are in the upper 50s to around 60. And in July, this would be comfortable. We'd be saying, oh, the dew points are in the 50s. Feels great outside. In early May, and considering, you know, the kind of winter we just went through, uh, 57 dew point, getting close to 60. Again, it actually feels a little bit, a little bit humid out there this afternoon. All right, so tomorrow is our next chance for some wet weather here across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. And uh, I've been advertising over the last few days that I think most of this is weighted towards the afternoon tomorrow. And I still think that's the, the overall right idea. I'm going to show you the simulated radar based on the uh, NAM model here. We're going to start things off with tomorrow morning. Let's start with 8 a.m. Now, the NAM does have a shower here and there, but you know, I suspect this is perhaps a little overdone. Could there be a shower tomorrow morning? I think there's an outside chance, but I still think the right idea tomorrow is that as we get into the afternoon, as the atmosphere becomes more unstable, we will start to see some activity uh, going up. Here is at uh, noon. Not much going on at that point. 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. And we're starting to see a couple of clusters of showers, perhaps some thunder mixed in around the region. Not everyone's going to get a thunderstorm or even a shower tomorrow afternoon, but some of us, a fraction of the area, will get under a downpour for a little while. The atmosphere will be pretty unstable. Here's uh, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and 5 o'clock. We head towards the dinner hour. This is probably getting to be the most active part of the daylight hours, the end of the afternoon. Again, before then, you could see something, but I think most of it's coming late in the afternoon into the evening. That's when the highest percentage of backyards will, will see a shower, a thunderstorm. Here's the simulated radar at 6 p.m., Clusters of showers, some storms around, and then we'll finish things up at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Still that threat for some thunderstorm activity. And if the sun goes down tomorrow evening, we could be getting wet. There's a more substantial area out here across uh, northwest Ohio into Indiana, down along the Ohio River. And this is where the threat for severe weather is tomorrow, the highest anyway. And I'll show you a little more on that in just a second. I think the highest chance for any hail, damaging winds can be out in this general vicinity tomorrow afternoon. All right, so the bottom line for tomorrow, unstable atmosphere, especially in the afternoon. You could get under a thunderstorm. Best chance of seeing thunder, uh, hearing thunder, seeing lightning is towards the end of the afternoon. Here's the uh, CAPE tomorrow afternoon, convective available potential energy. Uh, how It's a measure of how unstable the atmosphere will be. And uh, what we have here is uh, some darker blues and some greens, my scale probably just off your screen, but that's getting up into the category where, yeah, thunder can easily occur when the atmosphere has that kind of instability that we do expect tomorrow afternoon. Uh, severe weather today and into tonight, again, focused out here in the upper Midwest, down into uh, parts of the Plain States and approaching the Mississippi Valley. Here's the day two outlook covering Friday and Friday night. 
Best chance for hail damaging winds right along the lower Ohio River Valley and the Mississippi Valley. I wouldn't be shocked if the Storm Prediction Center extended this area a little bit out to maybe Cincinnati uh, for late in the day tomorrow. I think what we're going to have happen is towards sunset tomorrow evening, there's going to be a pretty healthy band of showers and storms out in here. They're going to weaken some as they come east. So I do think we'll see showers and thunder here uh, tomorrow night. Severe weather, though, doesn't look likely. It's coming at the wrong time of the day. These storms should be undergoing some weakening. But yeah, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Evansville, those places uh, you know, could very easily have some uh, destructive winds and some large hail in any storm uh, tomorrow uh, evening. Uh, let's talk about the uh, weekend and the percent chance of getting wet here around the Youngstown area. This is the SREF model, uh, short range ensemble model. And what we're seeing here, the, blind, the, the green line that moves around is the percent chance of precipitation in your backyard. Scale is over on the left. Here's 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%. Uh, and I like the idea overall here that a 30, perhaps 40% chance of your backyard seeing a shower and thunderstorm tomorrow with the chances increasing as we go through the day. The, the white area here is tomorrow during the day. Here's tomorrow night in the darker area. And this is when the chance of rain kind of peaks tomorrow night. And then as we head into Saturday, light area right here, this is Saturday, the percent chance of rain decreases throughout the day. So I think Saturday morning starts damp with showers around, and they may linger into parts of the midday. I think the best part of Saturday is going to be later in the afternoon into the evening. Notice that chance for rain drops, stays pretty low all of Saturday night. And then Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. Sunday will be the, the, the white area right here. Not a big chance of getting wet, but I do think there's a 30-ish uh, percent chance of seeing a shower and thunderstorm with a weak disturbance coming through on uh, Sunday. Show you that uh, graphically here. Uh, here's Sunday, Mother's Day. Our old front kind of washes out. The front that brings the showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night into Saturday morning kind of washes out, starts to lift back north a little bit on Sunday. This is going to be a warm Mother's Day, and there's just not much there, but I could see where there's a spotty shower and thunderstorm, particularly in the afternoon on Sunday. Something to watch out for. As we head into next week, it uh, looks pretty warm for a few days. This is Monday's map, low pressure, northern Great Lakes. Warm, unstable atmosphere. Could be some spotty showers and th storms Monday. Much like Sunday, though, I wouldn't expect a washout. Forecast gets a little more challenging towards midweek. Now, the GFS model, which I'm showing you here, paints a fairly wet picture Tuesday afternoon and evening. But for the last couple of days, the G GFS has been the fastest model with this midweek front. So if the other slower models are right, Tuesday will be kind of like Monday. Things will be spotty. And uh, I suspect that's a, the, the more correct idea. The GFS model sweeps everything away on Wednesday for the most part. Other models have Wednesday being our wettest day next week. And I, I'm leaning towards those ideas. A slower arrival of the front means that Wednesday next week is probably the wettest day. And then beyond that, looks pretty cool compared to average for the end of next week and heading into next weekend. All right, thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this uh, Thursday. We'll have the Friday afternoon edition posted around 3 o'clock on my weather blog and on wfmj.com weather. I'll see you tonight on 21 News at 6 and 11.